That was odd. Okay. Hi right, guys, it's me, Zim. This, uh, this is uh, a new video type, actually. This is going to be called... Uh, it's going to be called Story Time. reason why I say it's Story Time is because uh, recently uh, we've been having like a bunch of crap happen to us and we can't just let it just sit there in our minds for the rest of our lives without being it spread out. We can't just like sit there without spreading the word. Which makes sense to, like, a bunch of people who like stories. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, the, uh, this is episode one of Story Time in Murder Miners. Mini was going to be involved, but he's not here, unfortunately, and his game won't load. That's, so I just told him, I told him to give, um, Lone Wolf and Colt, uh, the copy, their copies, so they can join me in the game. But anyway, there's a little bit of a problem. I gotta fix that. Hold up a second. Let me just. There we go. Now the ammo and everything is a little bit more visible. But anyway, uh, wait, lower that a bit. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, dang it, I forgot. For some odd reason, easily re reload. Anyway, um, as I was saying before, um, this is story time. So let's get started. First story on the list is what happened just today. Um, basically, um, I went to go get my lunch at school. And as as I was getting my lunch, apparently um, my friends were uh, already at the table. Because they're already at the table when I'm getting my lunch, and that's kind of unfortunate. Now, um, as, I'm, on, as uh, I'm walking up to the um, table, uh, uh, Minnie looks at me. And, he's, and he always looks at me every time I walk by with my food. And I'm like, my effort, stop looking at me every time I walk over here. <laughs> But he does he does that occasionally just to like know that if I'm there or not, because I sometimes get out of the lunchroom really late. Anyway, I digress. Back to what I was saying. Back to the subject. So I sit down and he says, "Dude, you missed it." And I'm like, "What do you mean I missed it?" It's like apparently, apparently, uh, look what we found. All over the table were littered with chip bags. A bunch of chip bags. I'm not even joking. There were chip bags all over the place. Um, and the reason why, um, there were chip bags everywhere is because, uh, apparently as they were walking to the table, they, uh, looked in the trash can. Now, the trash bag was new. The trash bag was new. It was a new trash bag. And as, as they were, as they walked by the new trash can bag, um, they noticed that they were chipped inside. Um, bags of chips. Perfectly good, uh non uh opened bag of chips now you may be wondering what we what we were thinking how many chips were in there three no sixteen bags sixteen go get your medicine there by the way um and make sure to shut the door and make sure mom can stop yelling please <laughs> anyway um 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 anyway um sixteen bags of chips um there were cheetos doritos and that's about it. Just two types: Cheetos and Doritos. Nacho, obviously, and there were uh, hot Cheetos, hot Cheeto puffs, and chili cheese Cheetos. Um, then, the next, uh, the uh, what happened was apparently they found the bag. They they Geo Geo, which is Lone Wolf. He looked at the bag and he was like, "Hey, there are chips in there." And he's like, "They're probably and Freddy." Um, pro said, um, they're, which is glitch, by the way. Freddy said, well, they're probably already open and probably, like, expired or something. Little did he know that as soon as he put his hands in the bag to go check, he found more of them. Not only that, but they checked the expiration date, and it was supposed to expire on 2-16. And... By far, do you know that we're in 2.15 at this moment, heading on to 2.16 soon, because December's coming? Um, yeah, so basically, he f basically they found 16 bags of chips that were perfectly good, non-expired, healthy, non-opened bags of chips in the trash. Now, I'm also wondering what happened, and apparently... A friend of mine explained it to me. Apparently, one of the um, custodians, uh, I think, or maybe the restocker, the restocker for the um, vending machines for chips and like snacks and stuff, 
um, he was restocking the machine, and I think he thought that the chips were expired because he didn't look at the date correctly, and so and he chucked them in the trash. On uh, he chucked them in the trash. Next thing you know, we come cross by. We're just snacking on those free snacks on the in the trash. Now, I know you're probably thinking that's really disgusting. Why are you eating trash? Tr trash bag. This is a guillotine, by the way. Why are you eating? Bags of chips from the trash. Well, come on, they're bags of chips. They weren't even open. They're not expired. And plus, the, the it, plus they were just recently thrown away by the custodian for no apparent reason. Either that or some rich mofo in our class decided to buy a whole freaking army of chips. And then, as he wanted to give them to his friends, they said no, they weren't hungry. And he decided to chuck them away. And they were like, what? Anyway, um, the so yeah, that was one of the stories. Uh, that was one of the stories. This actually, as I said, this is part one of the story time. I'm also going to tell you another story, which, uh, reminded me about the, the chip incident reminded me of so many things, to be honest. The chip incident, uh, reminded me of when I got a bag of chips and I got, like, more than what I could get because apparently, because... I looked up on how many chips a bag of Doritos can carry, and the manufacturers, uh, originally the manufacturers back then in 2010, I believe, when they had Doritos, I think it was 2011, I'm not too sure, but they had chips where, they had the chip bags were filled with at least, um, 12 chips, 12 non-broken chips inside the bag. Now, now they just die it down to about a good 10, and partially broken too but anyway um so aside from that there was aside from the that that uh i remember i got complete air out of one bag when i was little i got a bag of doritos and there was nothing in there but one chip i ate it and i was just unsatisfied luckily my dad managed to buy three bags since he was going to give them to his mom to my mom but uh he uh didn't want to uh he didn't want to, but she didn't want him. Anyway, um, th anyway, uh, that, the chip incident was kind of hilarious, to be honest, because we never, what are the odds of walking, of going to school, going to lunch, walking by your trash can, looking inside and finding 16 bags of various assortment of chips, or like puffs, or whatever, inside the trash can, that are, non-expired, perfectly good, non-open. What are the odds of that? There's no high po- there's a, there's a high possibility that there's, there's a high possibility it could be open or expired, but not none of those, and 16 of them inside a trash can? It's, it's kind of odd, to be honest. Now, I actually kind of question, number one, what was the, what was the guy's idea of reading of throwing them away? Number two, what was the rich guy's idea of throwing them away? Number three, who would throw away chips? That's what I would like to know. I mean, they're perfectly good chips. You don't need to throw them away. Um, also, third story. Um, here's the third story. This happened to me when I was um really little. Well, not really little. It was around like nine or ten at this time. Um, I was playing um. I was playing some video games, and I decided to uh, take a break and go um, grab a snack. This is before I knew about Xbox Live and stuff. Uh, I had an account, and my parents would just play that account constantly, and I would just play that. Uh, that that basically we only had one account, and that was just for me. But until my parents found out, until we found out about Xbox Live, my parents dispersed. But anyway, um, I took a break from playing Dead Space. Yeah, I was playing Dead Space. I took a break from it, and uh, I went to go grab a snack, and, by the way, the living room was right next to our kitchen, and I was playing in the living room, so, uh, it wasn't really that far. I grab a snack, I go back to my game, and for some odd reason, when I go back to it, my health is, like, really dangerously low, and I'm like, what the heck, what's going on here? So, I, uh, put a med, uh, use a medikit, and, uh, I was perfectly fine. Two minutes after that, I um, get to the section where you're supposed to fight necromorphs or going through these, like, um, engine parts where they're supposed to shoot flames and they do a lot of damage. Uh, they, cause, they cause you to be on fire and it kills any necromorph instantly. But anyway, 
So I I was at full health because I used a full medikit, and uh, I got hit by the fire and died instantly. I asked myself, what? Apparently I found out that there was a bug. I saved it as it was taking damage, and so it seemed like that as soon as I used a medikit, I was at full health, but I was really at one health, so I basically just straight up died. So yeah, that was actually kind of confusing for me, and I... Uh, I, uh, yeah, that was about it. Uh, and also, here's a little secret about me. Back when I played Dead Space, whenever I get to Chapter 5, I always quit. But now, since I got balls, I can go through that in a breeze. Because I hated Chapter 5, how the Regenerator can, like, uh, do the stabbing one-shot when you're at yellow health. Um, or low health, basically. And, uh, I hated how he regenerates, so you can't kill him. And it's kind of crazy. Because I don't like enemies you can't kill. It just does. It just freaks me out, even if it's in a horror game. But anyway, that's it on story time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry about Minnie not being involved. He uh, he couldn't get his um, murder miners working after I helped him. It still didn't work. Um, but he will be giving the copy to Cult and Giovanni, so they'll probably be in um, the murder miners series. Many won't be, unfortunately, but at least he has the game to re reference himself to remember, hey, buy it on console. You can probably record it on console. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. There will be more story time, so don't worry. I got plenty of stories up, m up my sleeve. There's plenty of stories out there that I have. <laughs> I had some stories from a few friends of mine that were kind of hilarious um, and weird. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Hope you hope you if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you want more. But if you don't, yeah, it's fine by me. So see you guys next time. Stay gooey, my friends. Oh, and by the way, if you uh if you uh saw my previous video of me doing the um, tutorial on how to um for murder miners, uh, I gotta explain. This is dashing. This right here is dashing. Dashing backward, left, and right. That's dashing. And uh, this is zooming. Uh, this is having a secondary. And uh, th uh, there's some other stuff that I explained. Um, apparently, uh, I kind of messed up. But anyway, you guys understand. But anyway, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Stay gooey, my friends. I know I said this about like three times, but sorry. It's just that I have a habit of doing that just to get you guys know that this is the end of the video.